I'm Jake Freestone, I'm the farm manager at Overy Enterprises, which is um, an in-house farming operation for Penelope Bossom uh, on the Gloucestershire Worcestershire border. We're farming about 4,000 acres of arable sheep, um, combinable crops mainly, wheat, winter barley, oilseed rape, uh, linseed, peas, beans, and um, a stewardship enterprise, forestry and shooting. Well, we're really pleased to be hosting the Smart Farming event at Overbury here. Um, it's a fantastic opportunity to look at some cutting edge technology about how you can implement the use of that tech on your own farm back at home. Smart farming is really important in this day and age. Technology is all around us, data is all around us. Uh, and what we need to do is actually capture that data to help us make decisions to improve the way we farm from a productivity point of view, from an environmental protection and resource protection point of view. Um, and, and actually from a management point of view as well, we are thrown lots and lots of different challenges at the moment from the environment through economics um, and actually using data to gather um, information to be able to make smarter, more informed choices about how we grow our crops, look after our livestock and how we secure our farm buildings um, is all really, really important to our business going forward and I think it will be to the visitors as well. So we started in the late 2000s with fitting auto track to some of our tractors. Um, that helped reduce cost, increase uh, field efficiencies, reduce fuel, reduce labour costs. So really we've got quite a history in uh, looking at technology. So at the moment we're using drones to look at um, how the pl plants are growing within the fields and using that information to uh, variably apply fertilisers for instance. That's got economic advantages, it's also got environmental advantages. But that technology is really moving along at pace. So the sprayer, for instance, um, has got 72 individual sections on it. So actually we're really targeting precisely where we're applying our fertilizers or our plant protection products. I think I've probably got two favorite bits of kit. One is just behind me here. Um, our switch to no-till in 2015 has been a really, really groundbreaking step forward for us in terms of reducing costs, reducing environmental footprint, carbon capture, soil structure improvements and overall soil health and soil biology has, has been a real massive change. Um, but coupled with this, the spray with the individual nozzle controls for really just targeting precisely where we're putting our plant protection products, which is absolutely key. And both of those are running off of data gathered from uh, satellites uh, or drones or actually in-field sampling. So those are probably the two most uh, important bits of kit.